Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to another episode of the Butterfly Princess Show. This morning my guest is Stuart Han, um, uh, who is from the Blind Chocolate, a, 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 comp- a business based in the Lake District in Cumbria. Um, hi Stuart, thanks for joining me today. Hey, no so to um, start off with, hi you, you, hi Morgan. So to start off with, could you tell me what the Blind Chocolate is? So it's a chocolate shop in Stavery Mill Yard. I'm registered um, legally blind, that's why I went with the name The Blind Chocolatier. So I do um, all sorts of different chocolate bonbons, chocolate bars, um, chocolate truffles, um, wedding favours, Easter eggs, Christmas like presents and stuff like that. Um, and I'm in the Lake District, um, so it's not always too sunny, which is obviously good for chocolate, but um, there's always there's always something to do as well, which is good. And um, so obviously you said you registered blind. So have you always been blind, if you don't mind me asking? No, so from when I was about 25, 26, um, I went for an eye test thinking I needed glasses and they didn't know what was wrong with me. So they sent me to um, the local hospital. But because it was a rare eye condition, it took about a year to actually find out what um my eye condition was which is Leber's optic heredity neuropathy um it only really comes out in males and it's from the maternal side and there's only about um 1500 people in the uk that actually have it um it's to do with the optic nerve so i've always been a chef and um, and then from then by when all stuff was going on in my eyes um I was still working at a hotel and then from then I decided I want to have my own business so I could control what I'm doing and make life easier for myself. That That's really good and um, I think your story, Stuart, will be really inspiring to others. Um, so um, you said that you, you've always been a trained chef, so... So what made you um, come into like chocolate? Um, well, I've always liked doing stuff with chocolates. And there was, in the area we're in, I thought there was a little bit of a gap in the market because I like doing ones that are all nice and colourful. And if you look on the internet, you can find loads that are nice and colourful, but like the local shops still do all that really traditional stuff. They're still nice, but I, I like you to actually see all the nice colours and then get all the nice flavours as well. And um, so, like, um, what sort of, like, you, you obviously you mentioned some of the chocolate things you make. So um, what what sort of, like, your best seller or your most popular product? Um, so with the bars, it's probably, like, the dark chocolate and ginger is a very popular one. I've got a dark chocolate almond and pistachio, which is popular. I've got a vegan oat milk one. Um, and then with the filled chocolates, um, there's a dark chocolate and mint fondant. It's a bit like an after eight, but um, in, in a chocolate and slightly softer. Um, anything milk chocolate and caramel always sells um, and because everyone loves the caramel chocolate. Um, and I've got like, some different ones like Prosecco and raspberry and lime and there's a Bailey's one that's popular the coffee one's really popular um I only do like a small range to make sure all the flavors are all really good and popular and I change and I know I'm change them once a year but the popular ones um have to stay and like like stuff like the dark chocolate and orange you can't get rid of that one because a lot of people a lot of people love it um, yeah, and like, um, so do you have like a, a team of people within the business? Uh, no, so at the moment it's just me. Um, I've got a few friends and family that help me out at like Christmas or 
Um, next month I'm going away, so my mum's doing the shop for a few days for us, and I've got a friend doing it, um, just so the shop's not shut. Because um, where I am, there's quite a lot of like tourist trade, so people will come and buy stuff, and then probably buy stuff for, like Christmas or birthday presents and stuff like that. Um, so the shop will still be open, but unfortunately, it means I've got to do all the work for the shop before I go on holiday and on the trade orders. So um, in the next like eight, nine days, about like an extra week's worth of work to do so I can have a holiday, but at least it means I can be off. Yeah, have a, have a bit of a break. And yeah. Where, where are you going on your holiday? Um, so, uh, well, me and my friends, we like watching uh, drag racing, so we're going down um, to near Northampton watching drag racing we go a couple of times a year and it's camping and it's reasonably cheap so it, it's 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 good to sit in the field and do nothing for four days oh that sounds nice so um like um so like we've already talked a bit about the business so uh what what is next for the blind chocolates for anything exciting in the pipeline um Maybe a few new flavours, but I change them all like often anyway. Um, eventually, I'd like to do like a tasting game. Like, so you've got all like just four different chocolates that are all just like different, different colours. And you've got to guess what the chocolate is and what the filling is. And then like sort of like a quiz game. So like an after dinner sort of game. So I want to work on that. I might try and get it ready for Christmas. But obviously Christmas is a very busy period. So I need to be careful. I don't give myself too much work. And I like making chocolate as well. I've got a little small machine to make small batches of chocolate. So eventually I want to make bigger batches, but I'd need more space for that. So that's like quite a few years down the line. And, um, and um, just to finish off, Stuart. Yeah. Yeah, so just to finish off, Stuart, um, how can people contact you? I know you're based like in the Lake District, but can you can you like um can customers um come come and buy your products from further the field? I mean, yeah, yes, so, like a, a service. Yes, yeah, so I've got a website which is the blind chocolatier um dot co dot uk. And Instagram and Facebook is the Blind Chocolatier, which has links to the website as well. Um, you can, if you're in the area, there's, there's a shop shop side that you can come in, and um, like the like. So basically, if you look go on Facebook or Instagram, and or just even if you Google the Blind Chocolatier, it'll come up and there'll be links to my products online. Thank. You. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you for your time today. It's really appreciated. No problems. Tuning in. Um.